Greetings streamers, today we're going to show you a video about um, a lot of questions that have been taking place uh, with regards to the Amazon Fire and Fire Stick and it has to do with the possibility of installing what is the Google Play service or the Google Play App Store. A lot of people have been looking for this on YouTube. We have done so as well. For fortunately, uh, I have been taking some courses on app programming and I was able to find on the Amazon App Store specifically on the developers uh, link and you can get it here. I will post it on the description of this video. Uh, but before, please don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel and give us a like because this video will definitely help you guys clear any doubts. And also you can browse our other collection of videos as well. So. Fire TV development versus Android TV development. What's the main difference? Well, as you can see on Android TV, um, they're using Lollipop and Nougat as their uh, main OS. The Fire TV is also based on Android, but there's a slight difference. They use the Fire OS 5 and 6, which pretty much the 5 is based on the Android 5.1 Lollipop and the 6 is based on Android Nougat. And you have to make sure you check out uh, which Fire OS your Amazon Fire device has. The important thing is that even though a lot of apps from Android do run on the Amazon Fire OS, certain Google services will not work. And it's pretty much clear right here. Any app that rely on Google specific services, and this has to do with the Google Play Store, it does rely on Google specific services such as location, uh, bandwidth, and so on. It is not available on any Amazon Fire TV. So this is the definite answer. You will find a lot of videos of people telling you that they can install it, but that's it's just life. It doesn't work. If you want to install any Google Play service on a streaming box, you can only do it on those that are based on Android TV. And we're going to show you here. On the Amazon website, you will get a link on the description of this video as well. You will find certain streaming boxes, like the Xiaomi My Box, that is based on the Android TV system. And you can hence install the Google Play Store on this type of streaming boxes. There's also another uh, brands available. They're more generic. However, uh, I think that the Xiaomi is one of the best ones available and it has a really good price, so you might want to check it out. But again, if you do have an Amazon Fire, it is impossible, based on this right here, to install the Google Play service, and it has to do with the hardware and the, uh, also the software that is installed on the Amazon Fire devices. You will not be able to use any resources from the Google services and that includes the Google Play Store. You cannot install it no matter what. If still you want to try it out and you still want to test and see if it works on your Amazon Fire, well you can check out this website which is called APK Mirror and you can pretty much type Google Play Store Android TV and they will show you the latest versions. You download the APK and you simply follow the, the steps that we have shown and many of our videos on how to install third-party apps. However, I do want to point this out. You're doing it on your own risk. Do not blame me for anything that happens because we already told you that it doesn't work. If you do try to force install it, you might actually damage your Amazon Fire device by either erasing or corrupting the Amazon Fire operating system. And we do not know how you can actually reinstall it on your device. I'm pretty sure it's not an easy task. So if you're still insisting on doing so, you're doing it at your sole discretion and risk. We're not going to show you how to do it because, in our opinion, it's just worthless. If you want to try having a Google Play service or Play App Store on a streaming device, just buy an Android TV-based streaming box like the Xiaomi and many others that we have shown. So we hope you guys enjoyed this video. Again, thanks for watching. Uh, don't forget to subscribe and give us a thumbs up if you think that it was worth it. Uh, no hard feelings. We do apologize if the video sounded harsh, but it's just to clear any doubts 
because there's a lot of videos out there telling you that it is possible and the truth is is that it is not so thanks for watching and have a great day and please stay at home and stay safe